Now guys, let's take a look on how to set up Razor on classic shards. So you download Razor anywhere. Normally these shards have a launcher from which you can download the client and Razor. And if they don't, you download it from Razor. I mean, I guess you can do that. Once you download it, it's crucial that you do this. You go here to Razor. Okay, this is in Italian, but properties. And you go under compatibility and you set up execute programming compatibility mode service pack 3 and execute program as admin and if you play classic servers you also want to execute as admin also the client once you launch Razor this is what you see okay this is what you see here you can select the shard and if you don't select the shard you can type it you can type okay here you select the shard for instance your second age here you browse for the client how to detect doesn't work if you have if you play multiple shard it doesn't work so you gotta select the proper client you put in the info you put in the port patch client encryption use Aussie encryption of course you don't you don't flag it and you press OK and then Razor starts and once it starts this is what it's shown okay let's take a look for instance at here this is a Razor profile that I have let me switch to to showing you this okay this is what you see okay let me take let's take a look at all the various options let's start with general Okay, in general, here are the filters. We go through every setup. Show welcome screen, okay, so that you can change server and anything. Never flag use smart CPU usage reduction because it doesn't work and it messes up the PC. This is uh, what you want. Here is uh, Here are your profiles. You can have all the profiles in the world and each profile has a set of macros so make sure you use profile because for instance you have certain macros with your team mappers and you have different macros macros with your tank mage and each one of them can have um, their own profile and to add a profile you just new you, you you call the name and that's a new profile okay then let's go through options now options in this era you can select all of these. This this don't matter. It's just uh, preference. I I prefer use pre OS status. Okay, so you don't you can see physical resistant, fire resistant, energy resistant that are AOS stuff. Q last target last uh, target self preference. I don't have it Q. It's a little bit faster if you can queue them. But no big deal. You just get accustomed to it. Um, block dismounting war mode. These are all settings that you that you can that you can set that are really really user preference. More options here here we where we get where things get interesting. For instance, in any most classic servers, the delay is one milli, uh, one thousand millisecond. It is one second. Some other shards have like I believe uh, six hundred milliseconds, but make sure that when you join a shard say hey guys what is the delay here because if you have a one 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 second delay and you put uh, 600 milliseconds and things are gonna be messed up on second age we have 1000 on origin we have 1000 on lost lands i think it's 600 i cannot I cannot remember you smart last target i don't know what it is sometimes maybe if you have a spell loaded and you try and last target something that is out of range, it doesn't release the spell, but I'm not sure. Yeah, probably check target tile range again 10 tiles for classic server like Second Age or Lost Lands in 12 tiles for Origins. And this is just preference, this shows the health bar on, on top of creatures. But party member doesn't work in this era. Count stealth step. As always, if, if you're a stealther, you want to count stealth steps and, unless you count them in your in your mind. And after a while, you will count them in your mind. Automatically open door. This is a little bit tricky. Every time you 
go near it or it tries to open it. I don't, I don't, I really don't, I really don't want it. How to unequip hands before casting? This is a must. I mean, you have your heli equipped and you, you, you want to cast your rebolt, and I mean, you don't want to unequip your heli before casting your rebolt. I mean, I want to cast the e bolt, you want to keep my heli. Some people also use auto and equip re equip hands for potion. Let's say you have a heli and you want to chug a refresh. If you have this leg, and it keeps the heli, chucks the refresh, and it keeps the heli again. But I don't want to do this. I mean, if I want to chuck a potion, I know what I'm doing. So I, I know I have to disarm, and I know I have to chuck the potion one second later because of the item uh, uh, usage cooldown. Block heal if target is poisoned is some AOS stuff. In Age of Shadow, you cannot heal. Uh, first, maybe maybe also Renaissance. I'm not sure. Well, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot heal through poison, but on classic servers you normally can, and nothing more. Display counters. This is important. Never search poaches, because sometimes if you find maybe if if, if you pick up a box and uh, the box is trapped, of course this <laughs> uh, this uh, auto opens the poaches if you don't have its flag and you get uh, you get killed. These are just basic preference. Also, this is basic preference. You you add anything you want here. Here you have you have a list of what you can what you can have of what you can add. Here is important. Here is important. The arm dress. Let's say you have an invis item. Okay. Um, you add the target, see add the target, you add the target to your invis item, okay? And once you have this invis item targeted, you can have ID1, you can have G1, you can have reflect, you can have all sort of things. You can have your heli, you can have your katana, you can have your, uh, I don't know, your, you can have your broadsword, you can have anything here. What you can do is then once you have all this, you go through the hockey's dress, and you can assign under toggle, for instance, toggle ID wand, and, and, and you assign the macro. So when I press I, I keep my ID wand with toggle, and if I press I again with my ID wand in hand, it undresses it. So this is important. For instance, this is my invis jewel, shift plus Z. So when I have an invis jewel, I press shift Z, and there it keeps my invis jewel, and I'm invis. And if I press it again, it and it keeps it. So this is very, 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 very important. And you can add another, you can remove, you can add a target, you can add multiple targets here. And remember here under hotkeys, use toggle. Because if you use dress, you're gonna need a hotkey to dress and another hotkey to undress. Whether if you use toggle, it's the same hotkey for dressing and undressing. Okay. Oh, skills. Well, skills is skills. Agents is important. I don't have any agents set up here, I believe. Probably just restock. Red. No, I don't have anything set up here. But agent, use once is where you want to put your pouches. Okay, here you add the target and you add pouches by pouches. And if you get paralyzed, okay, you go to hockeys and assign to under agents. You go to use once agent. Uh, no added to use once agent sorry use once agent this, this uh, i have not uh, i have it not ex uh, assigned and you set it and if you have like 10 pouches under this agent you just with your hotkey to use use one agent you click it you click you, you hit your hotkey and you use one of them okay because because well, why one because other because after it's being used it's not gonna be used anymore because it's not trapped anymore so you, you this is how you get out of Paralyze. Then you have your sell agent. You can add gems, for instance, that you sell. On classic server, max max sell, you want to set this to five because the cap is five. Buy organizer, you have all the agents. Organizer is, for instance, when you, when you have potions that you lose from somebody and you want to uh, drop them in your, uh, how's that called, in your keg. You just add target, type of potion, set hot key, set hot bag. You select the 
the keg and organize now and the organizer will pour portion into the keg. And what other agents do we have here? A scavenger agent. Normally people, I don't know, have, have it with rags to scavenge something, <laughs> rags from the, on the ground or they have it on gold to scavenge gold off for instance, elementals, they drop gold on the ground, or maybe if they, if they are rare hunters, they put all the rare on the scavenger hunt, on the scavenger agent, sorry, not the scavenger hunt, so that when you walk, you pick them up automatically. What are the regions? Buy agent, of course. You want to buy regs, okay. Put all the regs here and uh, activate the buy agent. Restock agent, of course, you want to restock regs, you want to restock uh, potions, you want to restock uh, wherever band is, and you, you keep it, put it here. Friends, you can add friends here, and um, for instance, you can then target friends uh, under targeting. Um, but this is some sort that you gotta um, manage a bit. Then under hotkeys, I mean, this is super important. Okay, you have agents that you can assign hotkeys to, dress we already talked about, toggle, items. Okay, you have bandage with timer, bandage self with timer, bandage self with no timer. You're gonna assign um, hotkeys to the potions. Then you have the macros, you can assign hotkeys to the macros that you record. We're gonna get to this. Misc, yeah, you can, yeah, like for instance, all names. So you can, for instance, yeah, dismount. You can, for instance, last object, last target, under razor, resync client, special moves, not error, absolutely not error. This is AOS. You can take a screenshot. Skills, of course, goes without saying. These are the skills that you can actually say hotkeys to. Spells, again. I'm not using this, but you can actually have hotkeys for mini heal target self. You can set the hotkeys here to every single spell. It's very it's very important to set hotkeys here, for instance, because sometimes uh, we have hotkeys of spells all over the place, or skills of spell all over the place, and under misc, I believe. Let me check if it's under misc. Under misc, uh, I believe that's stop razor. Yes, like there, sh there should be somebody, something here. Um, maybe it's under something different. Well, I'll, well, I'll, I will talk about it later. But basically, you can have a, a, a combination of of keys to activate and stop, activate and stop the. Um, Razor. So basically, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna talk, you disable Razor macros, and you can talk freely. And then, if you wanna PvP, you re-enable all the macros. And I can't remember where it is. Yeah, okay, here it is. It's, yeah, it's, it's the first here. So if I wanna talk, I press Control Alt S. And I talk and I do my things, and no macros will start. And then when I wanna play, I reactivate macros. Okay, now another important thing that we got to test, that we want to check here is target. Attack last combatant, the last guy that attacks you, you're going to attack. Attack last target, pretty obvious. Last target, pretty obvious. Next humanoid, pretty obvious. These are the these are really the, the targets that you want to have. Set last, the macros the, that you want to have. Set last target, target closest criminal, target closest... Um, innocent, target closest innocent humanoid, target closest grey humanoid, target closest murderer. Yeah, these are all the targets that you can assign, and believe me, you want to assign them. Then we have the last important thing is macros. Here is very simple. For instance, this is a very stupid macro. I mean, you just press record, you do your things in game, and you record the macro. And the macro is simple, for instance, here is execute animal taming, wait for target, target by type, in this case are giant spiders, and wait 10 seconds, remember to loop, and you can just right click and do everything you want, for instance, oh, I'm not in game, maybe I cannot do it because I'm not in game. Wait a minute, this is the macro for training majoring. Let, let's, let's hop in game, wait a sec. 
can actually work. Okay, for instance, um, you can add various things. For instance, you right-click something and um, you can move up and move down. Or for instance, you can special construct, insert post weight, insert cell as target, insert comment, insert if conditional. This is very important. If conditional, you have many conditions. You have conditional hit, mana, stamina, poison, sys message. If poison, do something like chug a cure, uh, wait. If uh, overloaded, like just cast bless, uh, <laughs> or um, yeah, um, there are many, 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 many conditions here. The typical conditions that you said: if system message something, okay, then do something else. And remember that if you do something like, uh, for instance, if conditional uh, hits. less or equal to 10 you do something you say begin maybe you go here and you, you want to say cast invest money begin recording here you go to your character in game you cast an invest money and you target self stop and, and, and it's not over I'm gonna say and if Otherwise, it's gonna be a mess, okay? And you may may wanna put some timers, okay? And if you say, oh no, this macro is wrong, okay? Just remove action, yay, remove action, remove action, okay? Very simple, you can, you can have, you, you must have a little programming like background. How do you delete this, where is delete? Remove action, okay? Because you, you 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 gotta have to know what an if means. You gotta know what a loop means, uh, and the loop and for. And you gotta know what these things mean. But at the end of the day, it's just basic knowledge. Just basic uh, basic knowledge. This is pretty much it. Video capture doesn't work. Screenshot. This is your directory where you take screenshot. Help and status. I mean. No big deal. This is a fairly old razor, the one that probably comes with or not with, with, with yeah, like just maybe the the release that comes with the Ultimate Nine Second Age is a very old razor. In latest versions of razor, the same things apply. You may have a little more options here. You may even have a script to tell that you are not allowed to touch because scripting is illegal in second age it's illegal on lost lands it's illegal everywhere scripting so you don't want to touch that because scripting really <laughs> makes you do things that uh, you shouldn't be able to do but again this is a very very basic razor guide and um, i hope i covered a little bit of everything here and macros make difference make a difference between being able to play the game very well or not i mean some guys in pvp have a lot of macros and they know how to, what to do with with those macros and they have an advantage okay for instance the invis recall macro or for instance the invis g heal i mean if you have your macro set up correctly you can do all sorts of nasty things some guys have macros to attack pets, so when they to attack mounts, so when some somebody dismounts to refresh the mount, they have a macro to basically snipe the mount. So you wanna you wanna have you wanna mess around with this with hotkeys, with macros, with agents, and with dress items, dress uh, macros, toggle macros, etc., etc. So I've been meaning to do this video for a long time and uh, yeah, it finally came out. So thanks for watching and go play all these classic shards which are absolutely the best shard in the world. Meaning Second Age on top of everybody, meaning Origin if you want to play the original era, so pretty to way and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, bye.